Depending on where you're buying your OLED TV, if you're buying a Samsung OLED TV, it can feel like an outright lottery system at times if you're not familiar with these things that I'm about to tell you right here in this video. I just want to be clear that before we get into any of this information that all of it can change throughout the whole entire year. Although what we have learned so far seems pretty clear to me personally and I will share all this information with you hopefully just to help you make a better decision at the end of the day. Now first we must start by talking about the differences between WOLED and QD OLED. Now QD OLED is going to be quantum dot OLED and what we won't do in this video is get really deep into the technical weeds with the discussion but just know that you are getting a wider color space coverage better color brightness and higher brightness overall from your OLED display if it is a quantum dot OLED. The other thing you could have is a W OLED. It is a significant difference between the two panels. If it's the same brand and you have a choice between QD OLED and W OLED, you will always be wanting to pick the QD OLED. It is just a superior technology overall in regards to picture quality. It also has had historically better panel uniformity overall as well. Now there are ways to make a W OLED compete in brightness with QD OLED and get it closer to color by using a technology enhancement such as MLA. But this is not the case with this discussion, so just keep that in mind. So now that it's clear that you want a QD OLED, let's start with some models that are set in stone. First, the S85D from Samsung. These are the competitors to LG's B series. They will be W OLED. They're similarly priced and they are going to have a max refresh rate of 120 hertz. It's worth noting that not every region will carry this model. This model is available in 55 inch, 65 inch, and 77 inch. And like I mentioned, they all will be W OLED. Another one set in stone, but this time as a quantum dot OLED, this is the S95D. This is Samsung's flagship OLED TV, and these are looking to be using the latest third generation QD OLED in every region that offers it. And this model is a significant step up from the S90D, regardless if you're using one with QD OLED or W OLED. I've seen them side by side, and the S95D does just separate. So those are the two models that are very clear on what they are. Now the next model, the S90D, that's where it gets to be a little bit rocky. We're talking about a chance that your region might have you having a W OLED with the S90D or a QD OLED. And let me be really clear, for the US market, the 48 inch, 42 inch, and 83 inch are the only ones for the S90D that are going to be W OLED. They are not producing those sizes for quantum dot OLEDs in the TV size. They're just not doing it. Whenever you see that size, that is what you're getting. You're getting a W OLED. And that's not going to be a panel lottery. That is going to be 100% always a W OLED. So yes, the US does appear to be safe with the S90D for the 55 inch, 65 inch, and 77 inch sizes. But the same cannot be said for other regions. Let me explain. 55 inch and 77 inch are at the biggest risk of being W OLED with the S90D for different regions. We have seen somebody take a close up shot of their 77 inch S90D in Australia and it has been confirmed to be W OLED. Another way that you could see if it's W OLED or quantum dot OLED is that it appears that they're using different tuner codes within the model code structure. So if you look at the model number, you can see that at the very end, there's four letters. Those are four letters that you're definitely gonna wanna pay attention to. Let's look at them on the screen right here. Now these letters are going to change depending on what region you are in. But the key thing that you wanna look at is the 83 inch or 48 inch size of the S90D. Since we know that's 100% always going to be a W OLED, look at the other sizes of the S90D. If the last four letters of that 55 inch or 77 inch end up matching the 48 inch or 83 inch size, then you're looking at a W OLED. However, if you look at the S95D, if your region carries that, look at the last four letters of those. And if the 55 inch or 77 inch S90D matches up with those, then you're looking at a quantum dot OLED. I think it might just be that clear. Now I haven't seen any evidence of them mixing, which means that for example, the 55 inch S90D in your region, one person buys it, they get a W OLED. The next person buys it in the same exact region, they get a QD OLED. We haven't seen any evidence of that happening. So just keep that in mind. 
Not saying that it won't happen, but it's very unlikely for that to happen based on what we're seeing with these model codes. Now, other regions are definitely going to want to also maybe look at the 65 inch, though I haven't seen any reports of that being W OLED yet. However, if your region doesn't carry the S85D, I think all bets may be off. But in case you're feeling paranoid, if you want to check what kind of panel you have, all you have to do is get a smartphone camera and go into macro mode, go up to the screen and take a picture of the pixels. You could also use something like a jeweler's loop to see exactly what panel type you have. If it looks like this, then it is a W OLED. If it looks like this, then it is a QD OLED. So another thing worth pointing out is that in the US, it is saying that it is a quantum OLED, but it doesn't say this for every region. But just because it doesn't say this doesn't mean that it's not a quantum dot OLED. I know it's very confusing, which is why I want to make this video to try to make it as clear as possible. And I think the best way to do it is to look at those last four letters. So far, it looks like a lot of countries in Europe that the 55 inch and 77 inch are W OLEDs. And the only way to get QD OLED for the S90D would be the 65 inch size. To me, it is a big deal because if I was getting a W OLED instead of a QD OLED, I would be really mad, especially if I'm paying the same price. So why is Samsung doing this? Why are they going this route? Well, this is speculation, but it does seem like they were not able to meet full global demand for their OLED TVs with the multiple models that they created. It seems like the 77 inch size is a size that they used a lot of. It was in high demand and it looks like it might be in a shorter supply as we have have seen even Sony struggle to meet demand with this screen size. 55 inch is another one that I see going in and out of stock for different regions. And in fact, the S90C in the 55 inch size is no longer available in the US. So that just adds to that theory right there. Now, remember that Samsung struck a deal with LG Display to purchase some of their W OLED panels, likely to try to meet that global demand at a lower cost. So for some regions to only have 65 inch QD OLED in the S90D, that does start to add up a little bit if you think about it logically. Now that doesn't mean that I agree with this. I don't think it's very good to have a product in the same model name, but have different panels offered for different regions. It is very confusing, especially when you are going to have one region have a W OLED in the other size from the same region that's going to have a QD OLED. That starts to get very confusing and it's rather unfortunate that we have to go about it this way, kind of cracking the Da Vinci code of Samsung, so to speak. And it's really just not a good look overall. I wish they did not do this. But hopefully this video proved helpful to you. And if it did, please consider hitting the thumbs up button on the video. And whenever you decide to buy your next TV, please consider using one of my affiliate links in the description below before making your purchase. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you need help on figuring out whether or not you're going to get a W OLED or a QD OLED in your region, just let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to help. And if you want to see some of these 2024 OLED TVs in action, I reviewed them all. And if I haven't, I will soon. You can catch these videos right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.